Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 14 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is the sources of magnetic fields. There, you can see we have two long wires, right? We can see the R1 and R2, right? The distance from the wire to the given point. This point is we are interested on about the magnetic fields by these two wires. As we can know, as we know Magnetic field is the vectors, right? So if we want to know the net magnetic field, we can just do the vector operations by B1 and B2. Do you agree? Yes. Now we need to determine B1. So we can look at the wire one. We can see the current moves up. Use the right hand rule, we can determine the magnetic field is in circle, right? This way. And then when it comes to this point, we can see the magnetic field just moves into the paper. Do you agree? So B1 is in. Now we look at the wire 2. You can see in this time the current moves downward. When it's downward, the magnetic field travels in opposite direction. Agree? This way, right? So now when we come to this given point, the magnetic field by the Wire 2 is uh, out of the paper, right? Yes, so the magnetic field at this given point at opposite directions, we take the yin as positive, so B1 as positive, B2 as negative, right? B2 is ne negative field. Now we need to get the net magnetic field. We need to find a mag magnitude for B1, magnitude for B2. Luckily, we know this is a magnetic field due to long straight wire, right? Just a mu, mu not i 2 pi r. So the current i is given. It looks like we need to find r1 and r2, right? So the given quantity also tell you from this given point to this uh, middle point there is, is r, right? And then this distance is d, and half of it is d over 2. Do you agree? So therefore, for r1, is the given point to the center of the wire R1. For the wire 1, it is used as R. This is R, right? R minus D over 2. Agree? This is R1. For R2, is R plus D over 2. Right? Now you can see the net magnetic field is B1. We can see minus B2 because of side direction. And we input B1, B2 inside, and then replace R1, R2 in these two terms. Now we can input all the given quantities, get answer there. So the first part is the answer. Second part asks you to compare two magnetic field of Earth. As we can see, the Earth's magnetic field is a constant Be right there. And then we use this B, not B net over Be, we get the ratio is at 0 0.03. This is 3% of the Earth's magnetic field by this wire, right? Thank you.